Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. I've come to Mercedes-Benz Centre of Excellence in Stuttgart. It's a place where posh people come to specify and collect their AMGs and Mercedes Maybachs. And I've actually come to check this out. It's the new Mercedes Maybach GLS 600, the first ever Maybach SUV. Starts from £150,000, so this one with options is £250,000. And in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you why it costs that much. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Let's start off by talking about the design because there's a key feature on this car which has never been on any other SUV from Mercedes ever since the ML was launched in 1997 and it's this, look. You've got the three-pointed star emblem on the bonnet. Also, it's got a unique Maybach grille with these chrome slats here, which taper in, which is unique to Maybach. There's some more chrome here as well. It is all plasticky, but I guess it has to be because if it was metal and you hit someone, it would basically mince them. Here at the side, you've got even more chrome. So down here on the sills, the door handles, round the windows. Now as standard, you get 22 inch alloy wheels, though these are the upgraded 23s, which are chrome and these blades mimic those in the grill. Another thing that you have with this car is air suspension that automatically lowers when you go to get in it. it. Makes it easier to climb aboard. As does this, look, when you open the door, the running boards pop out. So you don't even have to step up to get in. Look, you can just walk in, it's dead simple. Then when you close the door to drive off, they will just retract. Here we are, goodbye running boards. That's a really cool feature and it's standard. Tell you what's not standard though, this two-tone paint scheme. Do you want to know how much that costs? £17,000. Though the finish is absolutely gorgeous and there's this neat pinstripe which goes all the way around the car. At the back, you've got this, the Maybach badge. That looks nice. Here at the back, there's even more chrome. You've got your Maybach badge, your GLS 600, and a classic Maybach feature, which is the blade across the exhaust pipe there. Though I say exhaust pipe, this is fakes around the actual exhaust pipe. It's deeper in there. Classic Mercedes. Here on the inside, it's as though Mercedes has given a GLS to an interior designer for a boutique hotel because it does feel like an exclusive experience in here. So you've got fine nappa leather and it's extended, so you get it on the doors and on the dash. Though this has the upgraded, super lovely, super extended white Napa leather, which is even extended up here on the roof lining. And I shouldn't rub it because I'll get it all grubby with my dirty hands. Yeah, it costs 13,000 pounds as well, so I want to do that. As standard, you do get a Maybach steering wheel, which looks lovely. And I do like the fact that it's got wood on it. Normally, I don't like wood on a steering wheel, but it works in here. So it also works, this wood across the dash. That is designed to mimic the kind of wood that you find in high-end yachts, because people who are going to buy this car probably have a high-end yacht. If you don't like the gloss effect, you can have it with open pour wood instead. Under here, you've got your cup holders, and you can either cool your Coke. No, not that Coke. I mean Coca-Cola or heat up your coffee. Just on here, you've got the Maybach logo, and that's where you just rest your wrist when you're using the touchpad for the infotainment system. You've got metal pedals there with the Maybach logo on them, lovely. Also down here, you've got thick carpets. Now you're gonna need that if you're going up against things like the Bentley Bentayga or the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Also, just down there, you've got your Maybach branded kick plates. Lovely. There is only one thing, though, that I'm not so keen on. It's this, look. The gear selector is like that on an A-Class. They have tried to jazz it up a little bit by putting some chrome trim on it here and here, but still, they should have like covered it in leather or made it out of onyx or, or even myrrh. The GLS is normally a seven-seater, but the Maybach version is a five-seater or this four-seater version only, and that gives you more rear leg room, and it is very luxurious back here. So you'll probably notice that the blue lighting, though you can change it, there's 64 different colors you can choose from, actually wraps around you from the back, as does the wood finish, to make you feel cocooned in the car. And if you really want to stretch out, look, I can press this button, and it's just gonna move the front passenger seat out of the way. Lift up my footrest. I really don't want to get my feet up <laughs> against the back of that chair though, because it's covered in that really expensive white leather. And now I can get my cushion uh, and really relax. It's lovely back here. Also, this one has, looky here, we got the fridge. I've got my Coke Zero in here. Normally you'd have champagne because here are your champagne glasses. And you have special holders for the champagne glasses here. So I'll just pop them in there like that so that they don't topple over when you're being chauffeured somewhere and you can easily remove them just by lifting them out like that. 
The car also comes with this tablet so you can control the infotainment system from the back seat if you want to. It just operated like it's a Samsung tablet, it's nothing special really. You can upgrade to have 12 inch screens to go on the back of the front seats. It's quite funny to think that this car at £250,000 isn't yet fully spec. You can make it even more expensive if you want to. You can't make it more expensive by fitting chilled or heated and massaged seats though because that all comes as standard, thank goodness. As you'd expect, the Maybach GLS has an electrically operated tailgate. It also has an electrically deployable tow bar hitch so that you can tow your race horse in its horse box behind you or maybe your yacht. Oh, hello, sailor. Also, the boot is lovely in the way that it's trimmed out with metal elements. You've got leather in here and it has a capacity of 525 litres. Well, it does if you don't specify the fridge because that does affect the practicality. Annoyingly, you can't fold down the back seats. So there's a reason for that. It's because they've sealed off this boot area to reduce the amount of noise entering the cabin. Even this low cover is actually lined with soundproofing. Look at that. In fact, there's loads of extra soundproofing on this GLS compared to the normal car, and it gets double glazing as standard. Though that's not all. You see, Mercedes has done a lot of work to this car's ventilation system to make it as quiet as possible. The fans are actually mounted on rubber bushings so you don't get any vibrations entering the cabin. Also, these slats are covered in a special material to allow the air to glide across them without any whistling noise. In fact, the climate control system is very sophisticated. It uses sensors on the outside, you can tell how much sunlight is coming through the sunroof, can tell how many people are sat in here, and it will use all that data to ensure the temperature is kept at the exact temperature you set it at. Also, there's even underfloor heating in the back there. How luxurious is that? This might be the most expensive GLS, but it's not the most powerful. The AMG version actually has 612 horsepower, whereas the four litre twin turbo in this only produces a mere 558. It's also got 730 newton meters of torque, and it's good for 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds, which is good enough for most people, I think. It actually has a 48 volt power supply, and you've got an integrated starter generator, which is like a little electric motor, which can add a boost of 250 newton meters for when you're overtaking. So the engine powers all four wheels via a nine-speed automatic gearbox, and the four-wheel drive system can send up to 100% of the power to the front or the rear wheels, depending on what's needed. The engine itself can actually shut down half of its cylinders when you're cruising to help save fuel, though you're still only going to get around 20 miles per gallon out of this thing. You won't care though, because you're rich. If you like your tunes, you're going to like this car because as standard, it gets a high-end Burmester sound system. Though you can pay an extra £4,000 to upgrade to the 3D surround setup, which has 27 separate speakers, 24 different amplification channels, and 1,600 watts of power. It even has a special VIP seating setting, so you can focus the sound to whichever seat your VIP is sat in. Comfort is the name of the game with this car. That's why it gets air suspension as standard. Also in the drive select, you have a specific Maybach mode. What that does is set the car up so it's even more relaxing. So it'll pull away from a standstill in second gear. It'll smooth out the gear changes, make acceleration even more gentle. And it actually focuses all the suspension to maximize comfort in the back rather than the front. You can also get the car with Mercedes E Active Body Control, and that uses a camera which looks at the road ahead, and if it spots a bump, it can raise or lower the wheels by using the hydraulic fluid in the dampers, so it sort of just walks over them and you don't feel the bumps at all. You can also make it do a weird dance when it's stationary. Here's an example of what that looks like. <laughs> It's quite good fun that. If you have that system fitted, you also get another feature called Curve, which will lean the car into a bend a bit like a motorcycle. I personally don't like it, it feels a bit weird. What's not weird though, is that Mercedes has finally gotten round to building an uber luxurious SUV. But if you're in the market for one of these things, which would you go for? This, a Bentley Bentayga or a Rolls Royce Cullinan? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, comment below any kind of other videos you'd like us to do. If you want to watch some more videos, click on the windows there. And if you click on the box, you can download the CarWow app. It's completely free. You can use it to like, browse all our reviews and see how much money we can save you on a new car. On average, we can save £3,600. That's right. Also, it has a special number plate reader, so you can scan any car's number plate and it'll tell you how much that car is currently worth. Download it. It's completely free.